what's up youtube what's up everybody welcome back to another video my name is kanzi beats and i'm back to you guys another smashing tutorial for you guys and on today's video guys i'm going to show you guys how to mix hey, and master guys, your beats um and i'm going to talk about an afro beat in particular i'm going to show you guys how to mix and master your afro beats so, uh, once more i don't really thank you guys for your support i just got to 1k subscribers got to 1000 subscribers uh this morning so i just want to thank you guys for uh subscribing so don't forget to today's video guys if you're new, you're new to the channel make sure to go down there click that like button and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content i'm dropping out on this channel uh without wasting much of the time guys let's just get to today's video so guys hey. for this video i'm going to talk about two things which are mixing and how to master your afro beats to be precise and then i'm not going to go into the de uh, more detailed explanation because of time sake so i'm going to be explaining two things if you want a detailed explanation i might have to do a separate video on either of those which is uh, you know how to mix or how to master your beats so most of you out there can get you know uh, the full package of how to do either of those things uh for this video i'm going to use this beat i made if you want to know how this beat was made uh, i have the link down in the description so go check that out and also give that video a thumbs up it's a uh you know you're going to learn a lot from how i made this beat so uh um, i think i'm just going to play the beat for you guys to listen before we get to uh, the mixing and the mastering part but this beat is where i've already done the mixing and the mastering but before uh, i'm going to show you guys i'm just going to level everything and then start afresh with the mixing so here's the big drums <laughs> Hey you can't see spice that shit up can't see spice that shit up can't see spice that shit up I'm just gonna open the channel rack and then uh, I think I'm just gonna put this, uh, put them all back to uh, to the normal, uh, to the default position. So guys, I got everything leveled, even the mixer, you know, everything just set back to normal. And then uh, what you need to do first is, you know, uh, select the part where every uh, everything is playing in your beats. I think this is the part where every single instrument is playing and every single drum is playing so i uh, just select everything so it just loops around and then what i do first is i start with the the melodies and then i get to the drums so the process i'm about to use is called gain staging which which i'm going to talk more on when i do the mixing tutorial so uh make sure to turn on the post notification so you get notified when i drop that video so make sure you anticipate that video so guys i'm just going to press the play button and then i'm going to mess around with the volume now right here before i go to the mixer so just so you know uh whatever you do in your channel rack is going to go from the channel rack to the mixer and then from the mixer it's going to go straight to the master channel uh you don't want to start your mixing from the mixer right here you probably want to start from the channel rack and then go to your mixer actually this is not a fixed rule or you know it's not uh, certain that you must do as I say, you know, just do whatever uh, you know feels comfortable to you. So, um, but I just felt like you know putting out putting this one out there for you guys. So I'm just gonna press the play button. As you can already hear, this sound is actually a subtle and a calm sound. So you don't want to make it too low. You don't want to you know increase it or make it too loud. So you just want to keep it in between everything that is gonna play. This is the second thing I added. Then I'm going to play it with the first sound. And then uh, this th the third sound I added was this choir sound. And then the bass no i'm not actually going to solo the bass because you know you want to know what your bass sounds like with everything playing so i'm just going to you know play the bass with everything and then i'm going to go to the next sound which is this guitar sound This 
bell sound this is like way too loud like way 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 loud so i'm just gonna bring this down up to this lens then i'm gonna play with everything like this then i'm gonna go to drums then i'm gonna play the drums with only the first melody and then uh, one thing about your shakers Afrobeat producers out there, you want to make your shakers. So you want to put it, make it an accent to your beat. You don't want to make it, you know, outshine some certain things. You want to just put it, you know, just find a place in your beat to just place your shaker. But then don't make it too low, don't make it too quiet. You know? But for me, I just leave it, you know, in the middle and then uh, just bring the volume down, you know, uh, very, very uh, low. But I don't want it to be too quiet, so it sounds like this. And then uh, the, sh the kick. I think this much is good. And then this uh, sound, this uh, conga sound. And let's do like this. This uh, I added two box sound, which are this one and this one. So uh, you want to make this uh, really, really quiet. And then this one. You turn on uh, everything. All right, guys, I'm done with channel rack, and it's time to move on to the mixer. And in the mixer, for the sake of the, the beginners that are actually watching this video, I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to drag the volumes down. And then, you know, from there, I can just, you know, um, increase the volume to wherever fits, uh, wherever I like. And then, as you can see, I turned off all the effects for each track that I used initially. As you can see, they're all turned off right here. So, you know, everything is going to sound, uh, everything is going to sound organic and it's going to sound original so uh, let's play the first sound which is this uh, nexus sound and then I move on to the next one actually take this up a bit move on to the next one and then uh, the choir sound Bass. And then also uh, the guitar and then uh, I have uh, this bell sound and I'm going to uh, increase the volume For the drums, I'm just gonna solo the drums and you know play the drums alone without the, you know the uh, the melody playing. Then I'm gonna play the melodies.
So guys, once you're done with the mixer, what you need to do is go back to your master track. And then uh, what I have on mine is uh, the Fab Filter Pro Limiter 2. And then all I did was increase the gain to like plus 3.7 dB. So uh, if you look over here, uh, separate the beats, you're actually going to see that uh, the beat is actually going above 0 dB. And you actually don't want that. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. You know, we actually don't want that. So I'm going to turn on the uh, limiter and then play the beat and you see what it does. As you can see what it does is actually makes the beat loud but it doesn't make it clip or it doesn't you know take it above zero db so it's actually wow. a great tool if you want to master and uh for those of you who, who don't have the for those of you that don't have the uh, fab filter pro limiter 2 um in the next video i'm going to be dropping in the mastering video i'm going to show you guys a whole lot of stock in, stock plugins you can use to master your beats trust me there are a whole lot of uh uh, things you can do so uh, don't uh, feel bad um, so uh, I think that's all for today's video guys uh, I hope you guys learned a thing or two I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you enjoyed watching this video make sure to go down there and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and don't forget to share this video with those uh, with other producers that are out there and you know because uh, most producers are actually struggling struggling with how to mix and master their beats so i hope this video was really really helpful for you guys and this wasn't a much detailed video but trust me i'm going to release a much detailed video coming soon on this channel so make sure to turn on post notification and i really want to and i really want to thank you guys for the subscription because i just got to a thousand subscribers and i know many more subscribers are going to come because i drop out awesome content and i really love my subscribers because y'all are actually the best in the world so thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for the support and thank you guys for you know um, making me achieve this milestone so um actually i'm going to you know catch you guys in the next video that i'm going to be dropping and trust me it's going to be a banger so uh without some of the time guys peace